Uh, welcome! Something like that. Smash the f***ing like button! Welcome to day 685. Hey, that's not day, Yesterday. Previously on the Jonathan Bamsington Show. The dangerous kitchen is being one thing is another. Drain is all slimy. Sponge is squirty and squishy. Sometimes the milk can harm you. Stuff in the strainer. The plastic container has a mind of its own. I farted repeatedly. Hey man, you man, if I pull out my dick and just start wanking? Have you ever seen a weirder person than me? Jacking off into potted plants or something like that? Louie, Louie. Oh, Come on, chap. Oh. I apologize, chap. There it is! Today's intro brought to us by Fisher Adam. Hey, shout out to Fisher Adam. Beautiful, beautiful. I thought it was beautiful. Chad, if you want to make it, uh, an intro like Fisher Adam did, just record one. Say anything you want to kick off the intro and then just tweet it to me and or said killer, preferably said killer. And uh, you too could be a part of history, chat, a part of his story. No chicken, no cake, full on cake. There it is. All right, chat. So uh, if you weren't here, we mined a ton of blue ice. We're, we're desperately hoping we're going to close this gap today. I don't know. We're almost done with this ice trash yet. Uh, you know, we're committed to the grind. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying, man. So let's do it. I was actually going to have to end early today. I don't anymore, though, for sad reasons. Today it was supposed to be my daughter's, uh, I forget what it's called, like her first ever official uh, like gymnastics recital. But she's got that nasty cough, dude. And like we can't send her in there. Now she's all bummed out. We've been looking forward to going to the, you know, the big gymnastics day. And now fucking coughing. There's one geode in here. No, no, no. There was a bunch of geodes. Well, unless you're talking about the big one. Now, there's going to be a bunch of geodes in here. Not that big. Not that big. That's going to be the only big one. But you know, like the, uh, you know, like the cheese wall crawl thing from, uh, what's that place? Chuggy Cheese. You know what I'm talking about? Where you, like, climb into the walls and all that shit? Chat, guess who I got going down the diving rabbit hole? Critter. <laughs> Critter was linking me dive videos at like 6 a.m. this morning. It's like, Bams, you see this one? This shit's crazy. I'm like, I'm fucking out there trying to tell you. It's just crazy. I got I got him in the rabbit hole, bro. I got him in the cave. Why? Bams, why with AFK Creeper do you have to be high up above the farm? Uh, there's a few reasons. Number one, creepers don't spawn within a certain distance of you, right? What is it, chat? I think it's like 24 blocks. So you have to be at least 24 blocks above your farm uh, so that everything can spawn. That That's basically all you really need to do, right? That's just the perfect spot. Like, okay, if this farm was sitting on the surface... That's how high up you would need to AFK for it to be highly efficient. Right? Does that make sense? Did I explain that well? Uh, you have an invisible bubble around you as a player that reaches out 128 blocks or whatever in all directions. Anything within that bubble can spawn mobs. So the idea is that you're trying to make it so your bubble contains nothing but you and the farm that's running. There you go. That was a little bit better, chat. That was a little bit better, chat. Oh, yeah. What did Amanda do yesterday? Oh, my God, chat. So, Amanda had to run to the store yesterday. I don't even remember at this point what she was going to pick up. But she had to go to a store that was, like, near a plaza, right? So, she goes. I'm hanging out with the kids. We were playing catch with a Pikachu and uh, Squishy or some shit like that. And Amanda calls me. And she goes, hey, did you see that over yonder, uh, one of them, like, weed-looking shops opened up? And, like, you can't open weed shops here yet, chat. Like, I can go to a dispensary, but it's only at the reservation, right? Off of a reservation right now, you can't be selling weed in New York. So, anyway, man, it's like there's, like, this head shop-looking place. I said, oh, pop in there. 
pick me up a pipe or something, right? Go on a reconnaissance mission. See what they got going on in there. Amanda's like, all right, I'll go check it out. Amanda comes home with an eighth of some of the dankest nuggets I've ever seen, a handful of 500 milligram Wonka bars, a package of 600 milligram Skittles, and a new pipe. And I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, how the hell are they selling? I'm like, this must be CBD or some shit. And she's like, no, they said this is not CBD. And I start, I'm looking at the packaging. I'm like, this is, this is straight up weed, bro. This is just straight up weed from a, a store like 20 minutes from my house or something. Not even like 10 minutes from my house, probably just all the weed you could ever want. Right. Here's where it gets crazy. So they're definitely, I think, I think they're definitely not allowed to be doing this. Uh, but here's a crazier thing. There was somebody in line in front of Amanda buying first. Someone in front of Amanda made a purchase. This is where it's about to get crazy. You ready? On a credit card. The store is illegally selling weed. And accepting credit card. Chat, if you don't understand why that's insane, uh, it's not Delta 8. Trust me. I tried it. It's not Delta 8. Uh, you are not allowed to pay with a credit card. That's federal. It is illegal federally. You cannot pay for marijuana with a credit card. That's That store is breaking federal law, I'm pretty sure. Right? Unless I'm missing something here. It was just like she came home with the most like illegal, copyright infringing, law breaking story I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> uh, hello, uh, FBI. Uh, we got them. They, they they're near my house. Blarty blarty bleep bleep Chat. What do you think? Is that gonna be enough? Oh, God, get me, dude. Don't do it. It's not even gonna be close. It's not even gonna be close. You won't eat one on stream? No, I won't. I literally... Well, I could because it wouldn't hit me till stream's over anyway. It, it, the edibles take everybody different time. It takes me like a good hour 45 to two hours before it hits me. And I even try the tricks because I'm a fan of the trick. They say you're supposed to eat your edible and then eat some food to help... Uh, what is it? Get your liver processing. Like you got to like jumpstart your liver so that it takes the weed that's in there and and gets it ripping through your bloodstream it's because i'm fat yeah so i have no problem eating chocolate and then eating food <laughs> it's my favorite thing you telling me i gotta eat a bar of chocolate and then eat some food too this is the best drug ever dude how you doing nobody had to tell you that well i had to learn it i was just very excited to learn it oh that's what they say the the higher the fat content the better too so basically, eat a chocolate bar and then slam a bunch of bacon. Oh, man, this is going to be a terrible night. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be high fatty food. It helps your liver process the THC or whatever. Yo, Bamsey, how you doing? I've been watching you since 2015 and watched you become a father. Uh, now my girlfriend is pregnant. Paul, any advice? Hey, yo, congrats, Poka. Hey, uh, congrats, Poka. Big deal. Big deal. Advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to completely change your life. Any advice I give you is going to be, it's going to sound ridiculous because you've already heard it a million times. Right? Your whole, uh, once you have kids, your whole life changes. You know, a million people told me that too, but it doesn't feel real until it really happens. Once you actually got your kid, you hold your kid, and then you realize, oh, shit, man. This is a big responsibility. I got to get on top of things. I got to do, you know, and your whole life just changes. You get a new focus, uh, but not in any kind of bad way. It's going to be like, honestly, it's like, I hate to sound cliche and all that shit, but it's going to be like literally the most exciting, fun thing you've ever experienced. Think about it. You almost, you almost get to experience the world for the first time again with your kids, you know? It's just, it's just, you can't put into words how awesome it's going to be. It is going to be life-changing for the good. 
So uh, huge congrats, bro, and keep us updated. And make sure if it's a boy, you give him the name of uh, Bams. You know, middle name Bams. Oh, my God, chat. Can we talk about YouTube kids for a minute? We keep a really close watch on my daughter watching YouTube kids. And the other morning, I'm sitting in here getting ready for stream, and I see Amanda, like, go running into my daughter's room. Oh, the fuck's going on? fuck's going on and my and amanda's taking the ipad away and, and changing it like the hell was that what the hell was that about she's like i don't know she was watching one of those um you know how on youtube kids yeah youtube kids are so creepy dude you'll have a human usually an adult playing with barbies and acting out some sort of scene and so it was one of those types which often are totally fine you know just cheesy kids stuff like you know oh let's go to the park and go on the swings and you know whatever but this one was ken violently yelling at barbie for getting pregnant what the fuck youtube kids like actually what the fuck youtube kids dude it was the weirdest, creepiest shit. Okay, why would you do this? You went behind my back and got knocked up. Is that kid even mine? What are you all going on? They're spreading your legs for everybody. I was like, what the fuck is this shit, dude? So uh, we blocked that channel, all right? That's the one thing YouTube uh, kids, you know, why well, you can do it any... Actually, I don't know if you can do it on YouTube. Can you block a channel on normal YouTube? I don't think you can. Anyway, yeah, 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 Amanda blocked and reported the channel so that she can't access it anymore. But yeah, it's like, for some reason, there's like these creepy fucking adults that try to sneak into YouTube kids, probably because the view counts are so ridiculous. And, but then they don't choose to just take advantage of the high view counts. They, they release these incredibly creepy videos. But I am starting to think, maybe I should start uploading some Barbie videos. <laughs> I know how to get the final push to 100k chat. Let's make some Barbie videos. I did watch a dive video this morning where a guy runs out of air. I think at 60 feet deep. Open water dives. I think they were in the ocean like looking for fish or something. 60 feet deep. And the dude taps on his friend's shoulder to tell him I'm out of air. I'm, I have nowhere. Like, hey, can I have that other line on your air tank? And he taps on his friend. His friend turns around and does this. Like, what do you want? And then just turns around and keeps going. <laughs> and the dude out of air has to, like, pull an emergency chute and rock it to the surface. And then he... <gasps> I think John Bam's in his early to mid-30s. Get you. How old do you think I actually am? No meme. What, what do you think is my actual age? No meme. What, what do you think? If, like, make pretend you're the guy at the carnival that's like, I'll guess your age, I'll guess your weight, I'll guess whatever you want. Let's see, 38, wow, everybody, like mid-30s, late-30s. Holy shit, bro, what? Come on, guys, I uh, let's go skateboarding at the mall. I'm still young. Let's go skateboarding at the mall, guys. I'll bring my rollerblades. 19, of course, there it is, VIP. Oh, he's already a VIP, fuck. <laughs> Un-VIP and re-VIP the guy. Yeah, fellow kids, let's go. Hello, fellow youngsters. Want to go hit the skate park? You went to Woodstock 99, so mid-40s? Good Lord. Chad, I told you I was too young to be there. I should not have been there. Like, literally. I was there, though. Hey, I was there, though. Your boy. Talk about the early 90s. Ah, uh, bro. You, you want to hear something crazy? Remember I told you Amanda bought me a new wallet for Father's Day? And you guys are like, oh, I know you're old. You use a wallet. Hey, shut up, chat. But she bought me a new wallet. Okay? So yesterday, I'm cleaning out my old wallet. And I find two cards in my wallet. One of them from 1996. And the other from 1997. They have been in my wallet since 1996, bro. 
<laughs> Can you fucking believe that, dude? Can you believe that? That blew my mind hole out. I look at it. Amanda's like, what are those? I'm like, I know what they were. I knew why they're in my wallet and everything. Uh, and I looked at the date and I was just, just fucking shocked, dude. Overwhelming shock. 1996. Wow. So, yeah. There you go. No! No! It's over. It's all over, boys. Good Lord. Whoever said it. Wait, I didn't make 10. So it looks like the people that said closer to like 15 were right. So good Lord. I got to go hunt down like five more shulkers of blue ice chat. Can I get an oof? Can I get an oof? The brutal grind is not over yet. Five more? No way. I'd say another 10. No, no, no. The amount I just built up was not 10. I think that was seven boxes I just did. Was it seven? It was still like here. No, it was six. That was only like six boxes I just did. Would you move to Mars and stream on Minecraft for a free ride? Fuck no, dude. Mars? That's like the worst place you could ever live. That's just another one of Elon's fucking pipe dreams, dude. He's not going to Mars ever. Remember, how many times? Let's see if we can Google this. Can you sort... That <laughs> Wait, I, I mean, I guess you could sort fat. Uh, you can sort by date. Is it going backwards? It is. So let's see. What's the oldest date we could find here? I'm in 2021. 2021. 2019. Okay, we're getting older. 2018. That's as far back as Google will go. So you go far back is 2018. Of Elon saying we're going to Mars. I just, I know that you can find this out here, chat. Go ahead and look for a compilation of Elon Musk laying out timelines and how those are all already five years in the past. And not a single thing he said we were doing in that timeline happened. He's supposedly already supposed to have released the Tesla Semi. He's supposed to have already released, I think, the Tesla Roadster. He's supposed to have already gone to Mars. Like, he's been wrong so many times and people just still eating everything up that he says. Oh, Elon said blah, blah, blah. It's like, yo, I love Elon, but the dude is wrong a lot. You got to learn to... I'm not... Bro, I got Elon Musk hanging on my wall right here. I'm not an Elon... It's literally Elon hanging on my wall, dude. I'm not an Elon hater. I live in reality. Well, you know, only when it doesn't pertain to me. If it pertains to me, I live in the uh, the fake world. Uh, but everybody else I observe, yeah, real word shit, you know? Real word shit. I love Elon. I think he's important. I think he's a historical figure. I believe in 100 years, people will still talk about Elon. But that doesn't make everything he does good. He does tons of stupid, stupid shit. Uh, Hyperloop. Hi. Remember a couple years ago when I told Twitch chat that the Hyperloop is a stupid idea that'll never work? Hi. I'm here to remind you about that time you all told me I was wrong when it was so painfully obvious that that was an unbelievably stupid idea. But even though that idea was so painfully, painfully, obviously stupid, major cities allowed that guy to dig tunnels under the city for that project. I got a close. That's a mic drop right there. That shit is crazy, bro. I'm pretty sure he's still actively right now digging tunnels under Vegas. For what? For what? They know Hyperloop, dude. I don't even think he owns the Hyperloop. I think he fucking sold the Hyperloop. That's how dumb of an idea that shit was. He doesn't even own it anymore. So anyway, there you go, boys. I have now educated on you on the good and the, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly of Elon Musk. To rob casinos. Bro. If he doesn't really do that, somebody's got to make a movie of him doing that. That would be so good. That's such a good movie. Oh, yeah. The, the dumbass city is letting this other dummy dig holes. Let's go fuck it. Let's use those stupid tunnels to drill into the vault of a casino. Oh, that's a good idea, dude. 
I'm not advocating for it. I'm just saying that'd be a good movie, dude. He traded the Hyperloop for Twitter. It's yet to be seen if Twitter's going to turn out to be a good idea or not. All right, chat. Yeah. What? Subscribe for more.